I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. St. Titus. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your Christian faith from places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor and his Jack Russell Terrier named Thor. Cute little boy. Go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things, an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. St. Titus is today, his day is today, uh, a book named after Titus, uh, a young, another Greek. Um, connected to Timothy, whose day was Friday, uh, what we know about Titus is that he followed Paul around too. In fact, he follows Paul around so much that some liberal theologians think that Titus and Timothy are the same guy. I don't think so. The scriptures doesn't seem to suggest that. But Titus was a Greek who, um, you can track him all along. In fact, Paul writes him a letter. Titus is one of the pastoral epistles. And so Titus was a pastor, was ordained. Church tradition has Titus being left in Crete, where he was um, uh, made bishop. But even then, he goes and follows Paul some more. Being a Greek, Titus was not circumcised. And a big deal is made in Galatians 2, where Paul refuses to circumcise Titus. He says, even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was Greek. And we had this last, on Friday, where um, Timothy was a Greek who wasn't circumcised. Now, I think I might have left out that um, Timothy was circumcised for the sake of loving his neighbor. Acts 16.3. Paul wanted to take Timothy along, so he circumcised him because the Jews of that area uh, they all knew that his father was Greek. So why was Timothy circumcised and Tom at Titus maybe not? Well, it's all about loving your neighbor. And that's what we learned from Titus and Timothy together. Um, if you think that circumcision will justify you, will make you um, a Christian, or some work that you do will make you a Christian, then you mustn't do that work. As Paul says in Galatians, if you think that uh, you need to be circumcised in order for God to love you, then I wish that you'd cut the whole thing off. In fact, if you get circumcised, then you've made Christ of no use. You've despised the grace of God. And so why would God, why would Paul circumcise Timothy after saying that? Well, it has to do with love. Sometimes when you're free, you can do something for the sake of others, which may not be, um, which isn't to justify you, it's for the sake of love. So oftentimes we sort of put up barriers in our life um, in order to protect ourselves from doing things for others. We put our foot down and we won't do it. And if circumcision, if Timothy thought that circumcision would save him, I, Paul would have never circumcised him. But Timothy knew the gospel. And so Paul was taking him with him to a place where there were Greeks and knowing that his father was a Gentile, Timothy was circumcised. But when it came down to it and Titus was almost commanded to be circumcised by the Galatians, Paul will have none of it. Or by the Jews, excuse me. Paul will have none of it. No, he was not compelled to be circumcised. Again, this is the difference between law to justify and freedom. You could have the same, you could have the same result, but get there in different ways. 
this is what I mean by when I start talking to you about thinking in terms of law and gospel. Love covers a multitude of sins, and that's what Titus teaches us. If you think that you can be saved by what you do and don't do, none of it. Repent of that. If you are free and you know that you're saved by grace alone, then you can put yourself under law for the sake of others. But they'll manipulate me. They'll control me. Well, we'll deal with that when we get there. But it might be good to set the barriers aside by being the lesser person, by washing their feet, by being the person who takes the first step in making peace. So Titus and Timothy and how God deals with them and how Paul deals with them and their days so close together, they're not the same person, I think teaches us with these two young pastors how to love and serve others. When it's a requirement and law and force, we must resist for the sake of the gospel. If there's no law in the Bible about it, we can be so free as to love our neighbor and to do something, even circumcision, if it will help them along. Because really, Christ has saved us for others, not just to save us for save us sake. Think about it. A blessed St. Titus Day. And what a great gift to learn about love on a saint day. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.